You know, I'll tell you, this is the first time I, I heard this group, Mosaic, and as far as I'm concerned, it's absolutely the best vocal group I've ever heard. They're just the best singers I've heard in years. Just connecting with people, you know, and I think that's very important in performance. It's Mosaic! Are you guys trying to take me out of a job here? That was amazing, and you guys smashed it. I loved it. It is amazing how you guys don't let any song challenge you. You made like a Will I Am beat without using instruments or computers, and that's unheard of. The winner of MTV's top pop group is Mosaic. On the count of three, the winner is one, two, three. Mosaic. Yes. Well, I've worked with Mosaic now for. Oh, probably two years. They're really the best. It's just an incredible, incredible show. It's just amazed at the way they can make these sounds without any instruments. M O H double J. I guarantee you, you will enjoy them. If you don't, I'll give you your money. What's going on, everybody? This is Josh with the vocal group Mosaic. We're about to watch old footage that uh, Jamal sent us. Heath, come here. Kind of a blast from the past. Uh, we're waiting for Heath. Heath! Ready? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to be in this uh, position here for a while. So, you comfy? I got my water. So you water? I, I may have to get up and I may have to take a potty break. All right. Small bladder. All right, here we go. Look at our hats. I probably wasn't texting anybody. You are just looking, just pretending just to be looking important. important. Oh, that's Miami. Do you remember this? This was, uh... We got stuck at customs. We got, we got stuck in this ridiculously long line, missed our flight, mm -hmm. and we had to uh, overnight in Bogota. If you are not rich, but still fine, please also meet me by the natural <laughs> I was a little nervous about that. This is Five Star Bogota, actually. Five Star Bogota. How you doing, sir? Beautiful flowers. Digger man. There's the man that made it all happen right yeah. there, Jamal. Okay, so here we are in the room. Five Star Hotel in Colombia. Let's see what they're working with. They put us here to uh, compensate us for having us delayed and missing our flight. So, booyah. Et toilette. Blam, blam. Hotel Capital. This shower. See, now we got some nice little digs going on. La da. I mean, it's all good. It's not the Venetian. I was in the Venetian last night, but this is do, son. He's the guy that brought us in and hooked this whole Columbia tour up. That's the other thing. Jamal can flow. Jamal can flow. Do you remember? We'll, we'll touch on that later. Man, look at that country western shirt. I'm the idiot American. I took my shoes off to go through security, you know, as we do, and I simply got laughed at. I guess you don't do that here. Live and learn. Dumb American. Jota o ese. Jorge. Jorge. Me llamo Jorge. Erika. I think I told her that my Spanish was sick. About to leave and go to Medellin. Leave in Bogota, baby. Leave in Bogota. Your Spanish is, is awful. <laughs> it's better than mine. It's terrible. <laughs> To Medellin, landed safely. Medellin, Medellin. Take a 
Let it begin. Yeah. Yeah. Dario. Dario. Remember Dario? <laughs> Dario. What? Booty booth. Dario, we were just talking about, it was our basically liaison the entire uh, Columbia trip. We missed our flight yesterday. Yeah. So we had to yeah. make the other flight. Yeah, we were oh, for you. Really? Tano Blue. Ah. He went with us everywhere. <laughs> We'd have to like go to the camera to see what your last moments were. Oh, You're no. like, oh yeah. <laughs> You're a dude! Pew, pew, pew. Well guys, we did it. Time for some nachos. Yep, some Medellin nachos. He knew some pretty cool uh, clubs out there too that we went to and did a little salsa. Yep. Merengue. Dario was the man. Dario, if you're watching, I miss you bro. Yeah. You are a cool dude. Anytime you want to come out to Vegas and hang out, just call Heath. You think she got them booty boos? Oh! Oh! Hey, you think that'll support my wave? That hair do Amazing, down. amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. What are we doing? I knew it would be fun. <laughs> I knew that that would work. Find those glasses, by the way. I have no idea what happened to those. I remember this. We were, uh, yeah, that's a Medellin. It's like a little a carnival, a carnival yeah. atmosphere, and we were waiting to sound check. Some dude was speaking Spanish 900 miles an hour. That guy right there. We normally ask for an hour, which I know the flights messed that all up. So we're uh, we're just a little concerned. We're not going to get everything sounding the way it needs to. Pause it for a second. We missed our flight the next day. We were supposed to get in the night before. We were playing catch up completely. So we didn't even get yep. to go to the hotel. So if we could do it now, it's a guarantee we'll be fine for tonight. There's like these massive crowds of people, and then they hear me go, Bah. Right. <laughs> Fresh off the plane, we didn't have any time to check into the hotel, so we had to rush here and do a sound check. Public transportation there was, was not too bad. Oh, oh man. That was tough. You're not prepared for something like that. We don't have, I mean obviously every country has its poverty and every every country is dealing with those types of issues, but it was just so much more unfiltered and raw and just so real. Uh, that's just one example of, of the poverty that you would see. I remember seeing a, a kid that had a similar issue, he was probably like eight or nine. It, it makes you realize what you do have, you know, that was tough, that was a very tough yeah, moment. I'm Having a hard time right now. I know. Now they make their own Jan and Vodka here? Ah, there he is. So uh, we just saw Michael Cooper, great guy. He was the director of uh, cultural. What was his title? Director of cultural education, or is that was that right? I don't cultural know. Affairs, Sorry, Americana. Michael. He's the man over there. He was the man. Yes. He was very uh, gracious, inviting. He brought us all the way over and and treated us like rock stars. And they're doing great things over they there really with, are. with education, preparing uh, mostly local students for college, mm -hmm. either there or, or abroad. And, and the range of age uh, that they have there is from kids in high school to all the way to people in their 40s and 50s. You know, Giving them an opportunity to go to college and get scholarships, yep. you know, in America, teaching them English, you know, teaching them all kinds of skills. So. And Michael Cooper was kind of like a rock star over there. He was very respected by his yeah. students and, and just a great guy. We had it. He had it. He he really had his um, finger on the pulse of the people. Like mm -hmm. he, he's literally you can tell he's been there for a long time. Like literally. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Pa pause it. Pause it. I'm sorry. Pause it again for a second. I gotta say something. Um, What's up? I just want to address something. The fatness of my face. 
I heard the camera I adds uh, 10 pounds, but I think it adds... I didn't want to say anything, but you... Uh, 40 pounds. I'm like Sylvester Stallone in, in Copland. <laughs> I'm getting 40 pounds. He... It's the change in my life, yeah. 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 This was to be our first show. Uh, we had sound checked earlier that day, and it was beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> Showtime starts rolling around, and I'm hearing some thunder and you know the lightning, and then just without any warning. Downpour, <laughs> yeah. and we're obviously thinking, "Crap! This is like we're kicking off the tour. This is our first performance. We have no idea what to expect." We're up there, and we see an umbrella pop out, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one. And before you know it, it's just like this sea of umbrellas, and they aren't going anywhere. <laughs> I think they just stayed because they were like mesmerized by your blonde mohawk. That's rock star right there. Stand out. Oh, do you remember? Yes, that they, was that was really cool. That was super that cool. That was really cool. Like they wanted to jam with us after. They were all about it. They they would come up, obviously we didn't understand what they yeah. were saying, but yeah. they'd come up and go. Yeah, they got like, one of them start beatboxing or like one 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 the jam a session. <laughs> <laughs> It's something that I think maybe we could tend to take for granted, you know, being in another country. You don't expect things like that. I mean, we stood there for probably a good 20, 30 minutes just jamming with these kids. Goofing around. Yep. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> I remember this. Those women were all about the Heath bar, man. Yes, they were. And the men. Okay. And the dudes. Mostly the dudes, right? And the policia. They wanted to arrest you. Oh, notes aren't working. Oh wait, these are phones. Ah, oh. there it is. Good morning. Did you cut your hair? Monday morning, press conferences. Here's the lobby as of right now. And suiting up for the press conference. What time did we uh did we go to bed last night? I'm not a morning person and I'm it seems either. like we were in that lobby at 6 a.m. at least like minus six. Eight. Yeah, at least 2,000 times on that trip. Hi, my name is Josh, and I sing bass. So I sing the low notes, and I do some lead work as well. Mosaic is an acapella group, so we use no instruments. And the idea behind the concept of Mosaic 
was a group that can kind of pull from all different styles and genres, much like a mosaic, but we accomplish that musically. So each person brings to the table their own unique influences and styles and feel, and you step away from it and it kind of makes an overall picture. The Nations are with us, the Mosaic group. They come from the United States. They are a group of a cappella. They are five immigrants, but now we have two. They are in other compromises. They do the instruments entirely with the voice. And they define their music as a mixture of Jamiro Kwai, Stevie Wonder. More interviews, I yes. remember. It seemed like we did lots of interviews, and for some reason, they were all in Spanish. Each day had such a breakneck pace to it. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it it was exciting and it was a lot of fun, but man, it's a lot of work. Yeah. You don't realize just simply the act of getting in a van and driving from one place to the next wears you out. Keep watching Medellin City. I'm really impressed. It's your turn. Is this my thing on? Stay your name, please. My name is Melissa. <laughs> Melissa. Okay. Yeah. Melissa is so I'm from Medellin. I can't sing. She's gonna sing for us right no. now. One, one, one. She's good. You're watching Medellin City. Medellin. Man, I'm so good with my Espanol. It does make me feel bad though when you go somewhere and their English is so much better than your Spanish. That's the spot. Just that's the spot. Ah, such a good show. Rock and Robin. What were we doing? That's before the S was a five. Did you see that? M O S. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A I C. That's right. So a little note to the viewers at home: the footage that we're watching was prior to the spelling change. The S. Mm. In mosaic is now a five. Yes. So not to confuse anyone, just a little FYI, little branding decision. Uh, you know, you type in the word mosaic online, and you're in arts and crafts land. Because a five looks like an S, and an S looks like a five. And you know what? I exactly. Heard, I heard that the S was always envious of five. Yeah. And it wanted to be a five. So finally, yeah. well, five. It's like you want to one, two, three, four, five. Fist punch S. S gone five. Do it. Apparently, there's a there's an American Airlines of Libya, Miami, of course, and that's where our it's a black hole where all the bags go. And my bag made it there, so outside I feel like maybe one day I'll see it again in the universe if I ever go to space. Nice church. About the parlay right there, I'm post up at me. Yeah. Oh, no. What's press? No, it's terrible. What? How do you say my cow has two heads? Oh, very easy. Soy guapo. Soy guapo. I'm your go to bow. I'm your go to bow. <laughs> your go -to -bow. <laughs> Blow your booty boots. So, the idea of a booty boots basically, it's a woman who's had. Enhancements oh, or, or augmentations, or, or if you will. augmentations. They do a R L O. The posterior the gluteus minimus becomes a gluteus maximus. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you right count? I think we see about three hundred and forty-seven thousand. <laughs> Which translates to about two hundred <laughs> in America. What is that? Salmon oh, sperm. This is ground up quail. Okay. This is wizard juice. <laughs> of the whole trip. That particular lunch was the one that I laughed the hardest at because we were slap happy. These are uh, monkey fingers. Yeah, so, so good. Did this one back. Yeah. Mix these two together. Yeah. Twins? Yeah. Wizard, maybe Wizard, Wizard, Wizard juice. juice. Wizard juice these and monkey juice. fingers. Oh. And it's a combo that will blow yeah. your taste buds away. It'll blow your booty booze right out. I think that we were going on fumes. Do you remember the security guard? Yeah. That had the 
he has a, like a, shotgun. a shotgun and he's walking around this four star restaurant I'm trying to looking eat. at us. I think I'm trying to eat a piece of chicken and I got a guy with a shotgun right behind me. I'm like, he's like, and we gave him for some reason we we envisioned this guy having a uh, an accent like a, a Texas accent. Yeah. Like, hey boy. Hey boy. You gonna finish that chicken? You gonna finish that chicken, boy? <laughs> You're gonna finish that chicken, huh? You, you like that wizard sauce? Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm walking to the sound check right now. This is where they're gonna be performing oh. tonight. Jose is gonna rock this stage tonight, baby. Okay, so this building right here is ran by nothing but water. It's the city building. Government service. Sounded good, Federico. Water. Hello, Gracia. The whole building is ran by water. For me, being on stage, when you perform for crowds, as we do a lot, we travel a ton, it's not to say that any crowd is less or more than another. This was just different. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You have to pause it a little bit. Do you remember that? That was the first time we did an audience participation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Part because in uh, the first concert, we didn't really do that. But this concert, we had a little more time. It, there, well, first off, there were so many people at this concert that the call and response stuff was huge. It was crazy. Was How so many people do you think we were? Uh, probably like 43. Million? There was at least seven people there. Well, the courtyard of that place would it, it filled up at the front. And as the concert went on, it just kept getting further and further and further and further back to where you would kind of just lose track of the audience. They would just kind of disappear into the background. And yeah. it, it was like just facing as far as you could see. Yeah. Cool. Muchas gracias, Medellín. We went out to eat afterwards because we had yes. never done that. We ate out 
every, obviously every meal, but every meal was like a masterpiece. Like they'd set the plate down and I'm just, I'd, I would just be in awe of the presentation of the food. And it smelled really good, yeah. So, so what are you? <laughs> What are you doing? Hey, boy! We're trying to get him to say, trying to get him to talk. How are you doing? The, we're trying yeah. to get him to talk with a country accent. Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Say, hey, boy! He goes, hey, boy! Hey, boy! He would have added an R to it at the end. Of course, uh, of course, I can't speak with the Spanish accent. Yeah. Exactly. Unless I talk like these. They went to eat. We're locked in this shopping center. Uh, waiting on Dario to come get us right now. Here we go. We don't understand what's happening. We're just stopped for Hugo. Hugo. I knew we were in the wrong place. Daria? Daria. I mean, Dario, pardoname. How do you say that porcupine is not yours? Este pastel no es para ti. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Dario, how do you say the Leaning Tower of Pisa has just been straightened? This is a bonus question. <laughs> Uh, the correct answer is El queso es viejo. Challenge round. It for the whole enchilada. Are you ready, Dario? How do you say blue? Uh, ah. The answer is rojo. <laughs> rojo. Thank you for playing, Dario. Uh, <laughs> you need one more. You'll get it. Just keep trying. You'll get it. <laughs> The women in Colombia, I just have to say, being a, a skinny white boy from the U.S., born in Kansas, they don't build women like that oh, anywhere no. else what, what except is, for is, uh, Colombia. What? Okay. It's a channel, a TV channel, and it has entertainment and news and, I don't know, everything. Nice. nice. English. Yeah, perfect. Me español es <laughs> The women in Colombia. I, I, I love. I mean, just to just to throw this out there, like, women are beautiful everywhere, but there's just something going on over there. It's ridiculous. And it's not right. It's ridiculous. I hear or I heard like right before we went over there, like somebody was like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna find your wife over there," and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. They were like, "Yeah, you know." Um, I think it uh, seems like most of the guys that go visit Colombia end up staying in Colombia because they end up finding a woman and getting married and they just end up staying in Colombia or bringing their wife back. And they just become fat and happy. I was just like, alright. Except, uh, except for... Uh, I could see how that happens. See you guys. <laughs> Is that the exit? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> how we get to the interview. Well, we'll get there eventually. Shining star for you to see what you like in jewelry be. Shining star for you to see what you like in jewelry be. Shining star for you to see what you like in jewelry be. Shining star for you to see what you like in jewelry be. Es muy especial a este gran grupo que nos acompaña desde los Estados Unidos. Just come here and sit. This is your home. <laughs> Troy, you have to come here. You have to come here. Ok. Ok. Mira, les cuento, él es el único que habla un poquito de español. Este grupo es muy especial. En el 2008 fueron ganadores del mejor grupo pop de los MTV. El grupo es Mosaic, que nos acompañan desde Estados Unidos, desde diferentes ciudades. So you come from different cities from the States. Yes. So tell me and tell to all the viewers a little bit about your experience in Las Vegas. Oh, in Las Vegas. Uh, Las Vegas has been great to us. Um, we've had the opportunity to meet a lot of the great performers that are there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the history that's there is amazing um, of the people that have been there. So, you know, going back to Sammy Davis Jr. and Frank Sinatra, mm -hmm. you know, all the history that's in Vegas. So we've we've had a 
a great experience there. Um, the city has really welcomed us. We've had the opportunity to do a lot of charity work there as well. Now, somebody told me it's your first experience here in Latin America. Mm -hmm. tell, us, tell us a little bit about it. It's your first time, yes, primera vez, here. It's in Colombia and also in Latin America. America. Yes. Okay, how's the weather? How's the people? <laughs> how's the food? The, the food <laughs> is bueno. Uh, good. Well, that's it. Bueno. That's my español. Have you tried frijoles? Frijoles, yes. Yeah, beans? Yes, beans. Oh, yes. Did you like them? It, yes. Uh, and what about sancocho? Did you try sancocho? Not yet. No. No sancocho. yet? It's good. You have to try it. You have to try it. And we, a hiaco. We have, a, we have a, a helper, Dario, and he has been yes. so great. He's been like recommending all the best local foods. We have yet to try, what's the one he keeps saying? Bandea Payas. Yeah. Bandea Payas. It's same as beans. Yes, same and we've beans. been told that we must eat this, you so we're going to, to at yeah, some point. You will, you will enjoy it. Le pregunté, pues que es primera vez que ellos están en Latinoamérica, no solo en Colombia. We have television here in Colombia, which is a brand new thing for us. And she kept grabbing my butt. It was really weird. Yeah, it was kind of, that was kind of weird. That was I saw that. And what was weird about it is because you were sitting two people away. Right, right. She's, she's a very long arm. Yeah, right. right. She was doing it. She kept winking at me. And she was like, oh, It's about time you've expanded your meat territory. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like a great A plus. <laughs> if you will. Yeah. If you haven't had the chance, expand your meat territory. Yeah. It'll be good. Thicken the cut. Play like, most like the in your ear. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? It's just plain fuck. Prospero año y felicidad. Oh, Alicidad. Prospero año. Prospero Alicidad. Prospero año. Prospero Alicidad. <laughs> uh, uno más, por favor. Prospero Alicidad. Oh. You think she got them booty boots? You think she got them booty boots? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Stop clopping this bus! Oh. I think she's got the booty boots. The booty boots. She trips us. Uh, and he also said he walked into the administrative offices. Bam! Look at what we see. Hello. Why are you sitting over here, bro? Why are you sitting over here? What's I'm, up? I'm absorbing. I'm, absor I'm absorbing the space and the ambiance of the room. What is that exactly? Uh, every space kind of has its own. Sitting back, I like to sort of take a moment from the audience perspective of what it is they're going to be seeing. Like, what are the views that they're going to have? Because it kind of helps me in my performance to kind of think back to this moment. Like this room has a lot of echo in it. Yeah. So it's something to kind of take into account when we're getting our sound right. It needs to be mic. Do you want to Do we communicate that? Microphone. Microphone. Mic in. Microphone. 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 Entrada. Entrada. Linea. 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 Okay. Microphone uh, intra. Recibir? I don't know how I say it. No good.
So here's an interesting little tidbit. We had done a show at the College of Antioquia. The University of Antioquia. Yeah. Which, at the uh, we didn't realize this, was the same college that uh, Pablo Escobar had attended, the drug lord. Never heard of him. Yeah, right, there you go. And uh, another little interesting tidbit, we had not been told this ahead of time, but there was a riot in that very location the day before. Yeah. So we get there, it's like five minutes before, and uh, we're informed that uh, this is in fact the college that Pablo Escobar attended and that there had been a riot, and so we thought we were all going to die. further from the, the expectations that we had had. It was a beautiful performance. The people were gracious receiving. Uh, it, it was, there were only riots of fun. But yes. <laughs> Perfecto, perfecto. Ah. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. 
section and that's on the west side and so I send a teacher there to a university campus and they teach on the weekends and then I have another one which is the banana country. Today we went to the Colombo de Americana facility. It's the, it's the space where the students go and learn and they have all these classes that they offer and it's just art exhibitions and just it's amazing. I mean the facility is doing wonderful things. This year. This study year. abroad. Okay, study abroad is the program to study in the U.S. In the US. That, that department is sponsored by uh, the U.S. government. They don't give us a lot of money, but they give us our books and we help students to look at different universities where they might want to study. There are some scholarship programs, but they're very little, very few, and we try to help those people who don't have the funds to go to be able to find something. Um, our last one, and she came from a neighborhood, and she came from, she didn't have anything. She got a full ride to uh, Lynn University in Boca Raton. Yeah, and um, it was through this, uh, since the U.S. doesn't help with it, but it's through that department that we can get help in looking for funds for those type of people. Explain why you came here. I need to practice English. Yes. We oh, need your hand, please. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. I speak about Colombia yes. in the United States. Yes. I speak about Medellin. I speak about the around Medellin. There are several towns, beautiful towns. Yes. Okay. Okay. And the people is unfriendly. Yes. What's your name? My name is Jesus Ramirez. Afterwards, we went and did our first workshop. Uh, uh, Angela. Uh, Angela. 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 I'm yeah. Sean. Okay. Josh. Angela. Angela. Oh, okay. It was a nice uh, turnout, and the people seemed to be really receptive to uh, what we were saying, and the, they had a lot of questions. They'd never seen anything yes. like what we do, so sure. um, it's cool. Influences for me would be Stevie Wonder as well, Donny Hathaway, uh, a lot of gospel artists. Though I'm going out of my way just so I can pass by each day, not a single word do we say. It's a pantomime and not a play. Still I know our eyes up to me that the tingles down to when you smile as much too discreet, send me on my way. He had it down to a T. He knew like all the Americans. Yeah. Like, yeah. like the next Justin Bieber might just come out of Colombia. You know? yeah. Yes, yeah. Justin <laughs> Rodriguez. <laughs> 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 I do, I do it big. Go, do it, you're the best, woo!
¿Cómo se dice en español? Comiendo. 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 Josh Huslick is the founder of Mosaic. He's also here with us. Josh, welcome to What's Up. Thank you. It's good to be here. Being in Colombia and eating all the food that we ate, we had to find a gym. It's like a, it's like a sketch in like Jack <laughs> After our tour of the school and our workshop, Michael took us to the gym and we went there in our gym clothes. Very white boys in gym clothes walking around Columbia evidently doesn't happen a lot. Just be careful. Right. I'm sure white people hold hands and skip across of the street course. all the time in Columbia. Of course. The, all the white people in Columbia do that. Yeah. All the Americans in Columbia do that. That gives Americans a great, great, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Now, this is not this is not charged to my card. No, no, no. That's for the company. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. So apparently, this is the only way to ride when you're a celebrity in Colombia. Hey, hey. Good morning, bro. How you doing, man? This is this is this is how you get down when you're a celebrity in Colombia. And guess what, y'all? It's a benzo. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, another early morning. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. more slap happy Josh who hasn't slept yet. We're going to Pereira, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh gosh, do you remember those? Scary is what those are called. Those are those are prop jet planes that were made in Colombia and they actually run off of an extension cord. Man, we did so much. We we crammed so much into this space. 6 a.m. No, it's not even sunny. So it's like 5 a.m. All right. How are you? All right. Good. What's on the agenda for today? Huh? What are we doing today? We go to the workshop. Uh huh. And then sing the the night. Sing the night. Okay, workshop and a concert. You're gonna yeah. sing too. Okay, Dario. Dario's the new member of Mosaic. Are you awake, Senor? Oh, no say. No, no hablo German. <laughs> Where are we again? Okay, and we're heading to Manzanas tomorrow. That's how I think I just said apple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just said apple. <laughs> Yeah, you're home, so yeah, we're waiting for the van and we just take the other country so you can have something to do. Because I guess you didn't have time to have a breakfast before. No, it's early 4 a.m. Yeah. No, it's too early. No place to get breakfast. Do you have time to rest this time? A little bit. Like last yeah. night? Uh, Are you in, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Dario is kind of like a uh, porcelain man. Like, his, his just beautiful skin tones. Yeah. <laughs> I think he uses proactive... Wait, skin. Jamal, stop filming. J Jamal didn't have clearance to film that. Oh, he doesn't. Jamal, I want Jamal you we need to get your own footage back from yourself you. down and get that footage. <laughs> is it heavy enough? <laughs> you know, uh, one thing I know is at least my bag's gonna make it. Give it a sign. Oh! 
Super <laughs> Super Cantes. Kevin, you almost ate it. I almost, I almost, I almost did it. Lubricantes. Lubricantes para ti. Y para ti. Just arrived at the hotel in uh, Pereira. It's a little different than uh, Medellin. But, uh, no, no, uh, it's all good. It's a downgrade from the Benzo, but you know, it'll be all right. This little area kind of grimy, and my man is laid out right here. This trip is, is turning out well for Deed. He's actually already on a date. It's going well. They're talking about beans and rice and the the ridiculousness. For some reason, just from my vantage point, it looked like they were on a blind date. He's got himself a roommate. It looks like a young it, Dustin Hoffman. It on literally there. looks like an episode of Blind Date. Oh, that's funny. The way this story unfolded, it just got funnier and funnier, and I was kind of adding my own subtext and all this stuff. And then you look over, and all of a sudden, I think another one of the event coordinators. And I'm just like, what event. just happened to the date? Because now it's Heath and two girls. And then I look over, and again, this is all just in my own head, and it may not be funny to anybody but me, but I look over, and then all of a sudden, Jamal's there. And it just had this moment of like, what in the world would be going on at this date? I'm not gonna lie, I think I peed a little. And I had no idea that was going on. Yeah. <laughs> Mosaic consists of uh, a total of five members, and they all met in Florida, and they all worked at Universal Studios, and they were singers at Universal Studios, and they all just decided to come together to uh, create their own group back in 2002. Look. <laughs> City. Just want to get a good view of this church. Estella Blue is the hotel. This is the Las Colinas. Estella Las Colinas. So it's just it's just kind of deep because when you put a lot into something and you finally see it sprout and bloom. It's just, it's just a rewarding feeling. You know, I never thought a year ago that I would be in Pereira or going to Manizales. More highs. You keep going, Troy. Here at the sound check for the Pereira show. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Colombian food, in a word, amazing. I, I never had so much variety of beans, 
so much variety of rice. Like you'd think you can only have beans so many different ways, but no. I was like meated out and I love meat, but we had so much meat in Colombia because it was always, every place we went to was like, steak is great here, or the chicken is great here. And I eat chicken every day, but I felt like we ate chicken like I felt like I had chicken. There was chicken in the granola bar. Well, you were washed down I meat. I think there was like a, with meat. Yeah, I, I was a like, smoothie one time. They made a meat in. smoothie. Yeah, yeah. 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 maybe a steak smoothie, Get please. <laughs> I can't move. I'll stay. It's fine. It's sandwich. I'm trying to communicate. I'm trying. To communicate. I'll wash it down with a chicken that, breast. Can I get that beef? Man, I can go for a peanut butter for a cup of pork right now. Yeah, that was just crazy. Well, and pigs feet. Hello, my name is Andy. I am from Colombia, Pereira, with Saranda. I like to stay here, here to listen this band, to say. I like the concept, it's so easy uh, in the sort of form, I think it's I like the concept, I would like to someday to, to do band. Muchísimas gracias, estamos muy bien, estamos felices porque por fin llegó la hora de entrar al concierto. Pensamos que nunca iba a llegar este momento, esperamos con mucha ansiedad toda la tarde, pero por fin vamos a tener la cerveza. see our shows you know you could you could tell immediately that they were so appreciative and excited genuinely excited by what they had just seen it's almost like a childlike innocence in the way they would watch and view and absorb they were kind of like sponges in a way you know to, pre to be able to present them with something and to have it be received so well y you know we made a lot of lifelong fans through those shows you know, people that we can still contact and they, they keep in touch with us through Facebook, etc. That that was that was actually such a rewarding feeling to me. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times this is not to be made to sound like a negative thing, but in America we have so much stimulus. We see and experience for so much yeah. and it's very hard to impress now. You know, it's you gotta really outdo yourself, or really innovate, or originate to really get the reactions that we were able to get in some of these cities in Colombia. So I heard about him in the Colombo. They were doing the concert. I saw him in the America's Got Talent. I was super, you know, very excited to hear they were here. I got tickets and I was first row. It's amazing. Whole different experience seeing them live and seeing them on TV. It was amazing. It was amazing. Great. Loved it. I have a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. God, the drums. The drums the guy was going. Oh, amazing. It was amazing. I mean, I feel like in America, because there we are so overly exposed to the senses, you know, we're overly exposed to media we're overly exposed to the arts mm -hmm. and things like that you know we have all these things going on 
that that we in order to really to get a reaction in the in, in America to something you need a gimmick mm-hmm. you need something that's going to be gimmicky or something that's going to be you know uh, sh- have shock value but there what I appreciated it's not that they didn't like they didn't have this um, naive look at uh, the arts or, or like a an un educated look at the arts I mean they have been exposed to all kinds of things they just really had a true appreciation for it and really an unadulterated look Mm -hmm. at life and at music You're saying that a lot of the students are not vocalists; they're uh, mostly instrumentalists. Oh, okay. So we we may not have as much singing today. They didn't need a gimmick. They didn't need shock value. Mm-hmm. All they needed was good music. And you know the other thing. This is not specific to America or any any single country but there's a mentality that has developed I just call it too cool for school and it's nothing that I originated but that that term fits and it drives me crazy when I see it people that just sort of don't want to respond for whatever reason that did not exist in Colombia there were the teenagers in Colombia they were so expressive and not afraid to show that they liked what they liked. And it wasn't like there was a pressure to act or be a certain way. They just were. Mm-hmm. And it was refreshing because I feel like that's something that we are kind of losing sight of. You know, Definitely. at least in the shows that we do in the States. Sometimes you see people that just, eh, I'm not going to react. I'm going to cross my arms and pretend like I'm cool and I don't really like it. Yeah. That, yeah. Just, that just didn't happen. They're not as aware and they're not as caring of what people think mm-hmm. about them mm-hmm. they just they're free they're, mm-hmm. they're free people and they you can tell that they're they feel free and open to be who they are mm-hmm. um, anybody that wants to be a singer just uh, before you try singing solos or uh, performances always make sure you warm up like uh, scales on a piano language barrier you know the the fact that we didn't speak Spanish very well, <laughs> well, no, the fact that we didn't speak Spanish, <laughs> at truthfully, all. Uh, I was surprised at how little it mattered. Now, there's obvious issue when you can't communicate with language, but there was still such a desire to show communication. Like, there would be efforts made on behalf of, of any random Colombian after shows to just show that they loved what they saw. You know, you would see it in, in just the gestures and the way they would look at you and smile and hug you and, you know, give you a high five or shake your hand or even offer you things. I remember there was this group of teenagers after the show, they kept coming up and they kept pouring little shots of what, what I learned was called fire water. <laughs> I think I did four shots of fire water and I didn't even know what I was doing. It was like kind of a cultural was thing. kids doing this? It was kids! <laughs> I don't, think, I don't know if they were supposed to be doing this, but it, it was just, again, the language barrier was, was definitely there, but we were communicating in other ways. We, you know, in this case, it was through alcohol, but just, again, the expressive nature of how, how they would handle themselves. I, I didn't really find it to be too big of an issue. Holiest of holy places in all of town. This is where my mother was married. I was married to my 
My husband. This is where I married my cousin. No, please don't do that. No, it's your Oh, we got a kicker in the back. We got a kicker. Yeah. Get luggage, man. We got bass. What a brother know. jam session yesterday. Oh my gosh, because the girl fell. She goes, <laughs> and then rolls onto her side. And everybody comes rushing over to her. And then the one lady, What led her to believe that that was the melody that was, was happening? The dance she's like, <laughs> The culture in Colombia, to me, I, I would say was so surprising in a good way because it, I don't know what it was that I was expecting, but when I got there, Everyone was so inviting and friendly and warm and happy. You know, it, ignorantly, I, you expect to go to a, a Spanish-speaking uh, country mm -hmm. and that, it, it, that country just to be mostly about like, Spanish culture. Um, but, I mean, really, um, culturally, they had, from the food to the music, to even the, the the people, the dancing, the clubs that that, that we went to, um, just the overall scene, like downtown, like there was a lot of a lot of culture. Good idea. I'll get that. Yeah, I'll get that too. Yep. No. It was huge. No, the, yeah, the, ar the architecture, you know, especially in uh, Medellin. Mm -hmm. It was very advanced. You know, I, I don't know what it, again, I don't know what I was expecting, but for some reason I just found myself very surprised and, and impressed. Just the, the, overall, the overall vibe that I say, I'm sorry, the overall vibe that I walked away with is just Colombia is, was much more of a melting pot than I realized. <laughs> and yeah, definitely. I felt very uh, welcome. I felt very welcome in Colombia. I don't know, again, the the way the media portrays it. I would have kind of thought to keep to myself and don't look anybody in the eye and, you know, wear long sleeve shirts so that they don't see that I'm a white boy walking around in downtown Colombia. But truthfully, I never felt, at, at any moment, I never felt unwelcome or unsafe. Be careful with that chimp. <laughs> buddy, swap baby for buddy. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so put buddy in like. I'm a genie in a bottle, buddy. <laughs> I'm the right way, buddy. <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy. How was I supposed? And now. You know you want my loving, buddy. I got what you need. Right here, buddy. Buddy got back. The basic stereotypes of being unsafe or the, the drugs or the prostitution or all those unsavory things that, that you would associate with, you know, travels and, you know, in this specific case, Colombian travels, uh, I found to not be true. You're muffly in the house. You're not clear. Mm -hmm. Well, it feels a better here. Yeah. Mount Azales, I remember they went crazy. They went crazy. No one was prepared, prepared, prepared for what happened in Mount Azales. We did our show like any other night. 
And uh, at the end of the concert, we went out into the lobby and we were going to sell our CDs. Meet and greet and sell yeah. the CDs. And, and it was always very orderly and there was no issues in, in the other ones. But this one, I don't know what happened. It got, it got a little out of hand. There was a moment, yeah. What, so what happened is they created these little queue lines that led to the table and people were supposed to just kind of observe the queue lines and come up. It was almost like uh, a stampede because we immediately, these doors fly open, people come rushing out and basically pressed us all up against the glass at the uh, back of the, the yeah, lobby. We had and we're like had this, to run. there's security guards trying to back people off yeah. and we're just stuck. It was just too many people in a small area. You know, one thing that I took away from this whole experience with the tour to Columbia is uh, seeing for yourself. Because going into it, we had been told a lot of things, the media, just the hype surrounding Columbia itself. You're led to believe a certain thing, that it's dangerous or that somehow it's not going to be a safe experience. But, you know, once we got there and we began to see firsthand what it was like and the people and the interactions and the culture and the food, and, it, it was wonderful, yeah. and, I, and I think that holds true across the board. Just touring in general, or anytime you travel, you know, I, it, it's a good thing to go out there and experience and see and do and learn for yourself. Yeah, you know, it's easy to take the word of others, but until you actually get out there and you and you get to experience what it really is all about, you just don't know. You don't really know. I, I mean, it was, it was definitely worth going and seeing for ourselves and experiencing for ourselves because. Um, our our account of being there in Colombia was different than than some of the things that you hear about the country. So you know, great restaurants yeah. and clubs and just a great vibe. Great just atmosphere. travel. I think it's good for any of us. It, you gain perspective. You learn about yourself. You learn about your own country in the process through traveling. It, it makes you a well-rounded individual. And I'm I'm very very grateful for the opportunity that we had. It was a fantastic well, experience. Well said, sir. Thank you. Yeah. If you go swimming, don't bring a swimming suit. Bring a snake. So we had done Medellin, and then we went to Pereira, Day and then six. Manizales. Manizales yeah. And then we closed it all out by going back to Medellin. And what's kind of funny is we, we were sort of flying by the seat of our pants at this point. We had been on this breakneck pace for six days or whatever, five, six days. This final concert, we didn't even know up until about 30 minutes before downbeat if it was even gonna happen. You know, we were in this like little theater, really old vintage looking theater that had been there for a long time. And I remember at one point people were actually out on the street just telling them to come inside because there's gonna be a show. Mm -hmm. You know, it was uh, Yeah, it was kinda crazy. Very last it, minute. It was very last minute. You could tell that yeah. it was <laughs> it was something that we were trying to uh, basically get another concert uh, out of us before we left and so you know we were kind of expecting maybe to have a day where we could just kind of chill but uh, you know they want us to do another concert so we're like okay so we will do another concert and it actually turned out great there was, yeah it was a good show turned out to be a, a good uh, crowd and, and a great show and in general we every to... show I know we've said it but every show was so well received and we just didn't know what to expect going and after having done it, you know, watching this footage again, it brings back all the memories and seeing the reactions of these people again. 
it just reminds me how warm and loving and what a, what a great experience the whole thing was. I learned so much. I've been in Medellin for a number of years. I'm completing my 29th year. But I came down to Medellin to work for a private school and I had originally a two-year contract. And that two-year contract just kept rolling on to the next year and the next year. And um, after 20, 23 years of working at the school, I then moved over to become the director of this um, Central Colombo Municipal. I came in 82, and so during that time is when Colombia, and specifically Medellin, uh, really had some hard times to go through. And it was very difficult, uh, not only for myself and other North Americans that were here, but even for the Colombians. It was a tough time to live through. But the change that you would see in the last, let's say, 10 to 12 years in Colombia, and more so in Medellin, since Medellin back in the late 80s and early 90s was known as the most dangerous city in the world, now is a completely different type of city. Uh, Medellin hosts a lot of international conferences, congresses. Um, everyone now is looking at Medellin as being the place to be. And so I know when I first went and talked to Mosaic about coming down, there's always that little hesitant about Medellin, a very dangerous city to go to. But I think if you talk to them and you ask them about their experiences here, you'll see that it's just like any other large city in the world. Yeah, there's places you want to stay away from, but you can have a wonderful time here in the city of Medellin. I've never, one of the things I've always said, and I still feel this way today, I have never felt that I have been in danger because I'm a North American, I'm a U.S. citizen. And one of the things that's very different here that I see with the Colombian people, they will judge me as an individual and not judge me as, as based on my country's political policy. And I think that says a lot for Colombian people. That's it? Ready for your order. Boom, boom, boom. Yes! Yes, sure. I'm exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. Yes, yes. <laughs> give you a piece of jazz, give you a piece of rock, give you a piece of r and give you a piece of funk, give you a piece of soul, you know, to a country that barely even speaks the English. But they embrace music because music is universal. You know, um, it's rewarding. Mosaic is a group of surprising the music with the instruments and la creatividad que tienen para realizar todo es sorprendente. Es un placer para nosotros tenerlos acá. You head it home, man. How does it feel? It's uh, good and bad at the same time. Great trip. Great trip. Ahead of us. I really enjoy being in Colombia. People, scenery, beautiful. I'm happy to be going home. Yeah. It's always good to be home in your own bed. So, would you say you would definitely uh, go back to Colombia? Yes. Yes. You can sum it up. You can sum it up in one word. 
song in the whole trip up in one word? One word. Thick. Thick. Good, 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 good. I like that. <laughs> I said it, but it was right as Sean started talking, but I said it. And they don't have anything on them. They're like the... Yeah. 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 Ye
Someone's always trying to stop my baby crying. Talking, screaming, lying. It's a just for the best time. I said, You want to be silent, son? You got to be silent, son. I said, You want to be silent? Oh, you got to be silent, son. Too hard to get over. Yeah, yeah. Till I'm looking like that. You're stuck in the middle. And the pain is fun. Too hard to get over. Till I'm looking like that. You're stuck in the middle. And the pain is fun. We're gonna get it right, feel that thumb tonight. <laughs> Oh, my God. 